Welcome back to Into the Breach. Custom challenge squads. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, last episode, what did we do? Right, we played with the Burning Legion on the um, custom squads. Um, I've been giving it some thought, and I couldn't really come up well with a new challenge. There's also no new squads available yet, so um, I'm gonna make a squad of my own. Do something special with it. Are these all the same? Let me see. Three, three, three and four, but shielded. Three and three. Three and four. Three and four. Um, fine. Take three of these. I'm not gonna play with this. I am gonna play with this, but I'm not gonna play with this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is see if I can modify the save files to mess with the starting weaponry. What I'm gonna do here is make the punch squad, I guess. So I'm gonna have one mech starting with the normal Titan Fist. I'm gonna have one mech start with the Sidewinder Fist. I'm gonna have one mech start with the Rocket Powered Fist. And that's gonna be our squad. So, punches all the way, that's gonna be the idea here. So, considering we don't, for once, need Kazakh, we actually get uh, to pick. That's always handy, isn't it? So what would be nice to have? I kind of want to see... nope. If there's anything interesting that uh, pops up here. Mm, nah, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, the name change worked. Yay! Meh. Meh. <clears throat> I kind of want to see if I can get the guy that... Uh, I like Victoria Swift, though. She's weird. Yeah, the hell with it. <laughs> I gotta change some colors. I'm gonna keep you green. I'm gonna turn you blue because you're gonna have the sidewinder fists. And I think the blue color will let me think that. And the rocket powered fist. Uh, you can be orange. Um, <clears throat> okay. So let's start this thing up. Because I need the save file. Sort of. Okay. And, um... I'll see you guys when I've messed with the save file. Or, more likely, have somebody else mess with the save file. I'm pretty sure they all take the same amount of... starting power. If not, I'll have to... do some shenanigans. Um... I'll figure something out. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so about 10 minutes of faffing about later, we've actually got it working. Combat mech with Titan Fist, Sidewinder Fist, Rocket Fist. And uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do that, which is... Mm. Not the greatest path, but... It's something. Alright, so you preferably would not be covered in acid. Uh, one, two, three, four, but you can pretty much get anywhere. Yeah, there's no way I can prevent my mechs from getting put on acid. Lovely! Okay, um... Does, give, does this give all the skill to... No. It spreads out the other kill, okay. 
Unfortunate. Uh, I guess you're taking a pretty nasty hit there. I'm going to try to get uh, Victoria leveled up as soon as possible to get her an early plus one move promotion. Um, it's not a guarantee that we're going to get it, of course, but... <clears throat> it would be nice. Not sure why I did it this way, but yeah. <clears throat> Little Victoria probably can't make it there. Nope. Well, so far, so solid. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure how hefty of a challenge this is going to be. We start off with three mechs with pretty good weapons. Yes, they're all limited in range. So positioning is going to be key, which I guess Victoria shifts some stuff around in there. Giving my two other ones plus one move but minus one herself. <clears throat> um, I also recall from the uh, parallel timelines that we did a while back ago where we all started with Four, uh, three of the same prime mech. Somebody did have triple punch. I believe it was Styles, and I don't think he had. He had it easy, so. Not sure how that's all gonna play out then. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, Victoria Swift, but you are a slow one. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm the one that needs to get the acid kill, dude, not you guys. Well, if she can get a kill, she should go for it. It's good for experience having this guy around, I guess. Uh, Rocket Powered Man can get... I'm tempted to do this. Puts another guy on acid. Doesn't mean you get bumped again, but... Mm. <clears throat> it happens. Look at that experience game, though. Amazing. Incredible. Uh, 
then we'll end up with everything dead. And lots of experience too. Cool. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. But first. Alright, problem solved. Um I'm not gonna do this one, I think. With Victoria Swift here, the train might go to a place we don't want to, namely water tiles. Or building tiles. Um Yeah, so we're gonna have to do this one. for you to do. Hmm. Of all the places you could have gone to, that was not one that I was expecting. Um, can you get... Yeah, you can get to there. Okay, cool. So you can do punch. Punch. It's starting to rain, so I'm just close the window. Alright, um... Someone's gonna be... taking a dip. Victoria is useless here. Available. Yes, we can punch a building. Seems like a good way to spend our time, right? Punching buildings. Pretty sure we'll uh, survive that just fine. to give Victoria a kill, but it doesn't seem in, to be in the cards right now. So instead, she's actually going to be taking some damage. Can you take him out by punching him into a building? Nope. <laughs> it seems more often than not that's uh, going in the wrong direction for me. So Instead, you'll be doing one of these. That is going to put us over the amount of damage we're allowed to take, but uh, we'll probably be able to repair on the next turn. We only have we only have two threats, so. Okay, we can finally give Victoria a kill. And you have to repair. Okay. Next one, we're gonna get our Hive Warrior there too. Um, man, it's really pouring out there. Hmm. Um, considering we do have a Hive Warrior, I th 
think I'm gonna do this one. I don't really care too much about getting grid defense up. You're punching left, so you can't really do anything if somebody goes here. Alright, there's our pod. Now watch the Ivor and not show up. He's been doing that lately. Um, I talked about this and um, it's normal that he doesn't show up twice, but he should show up once per island, and he's not even doing that for me, so... Uh, I can do something good here, but it will... Actually, no, we can just give you... We can give the Overdriver to... You. And then you can pick up a triple kill. Ooh, maybe it's a triple. Victoria cannot get the kill, so she's gonna take the pod, get the acid off of her. Uh... Oh yeah, you can move. Why would I have you run to safety? I'm gonna have you repair. And then the turn here. Okay, so... Two Vecan Hive Warrior. Or no Hive Warrior. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Um. Okay. You go to him, repair. So what did Victoria get? Movement? Not health, not great defense, so it's possible. But at this point it's either yeah, reactor or reactor is fine too. Uh, you're gonna get even more experience. You can still move, so punch. Fortunately, no high warrior. That means no extra grid, but eh, we'll be okay. And we get Otis. Hm. I think Otis would do fine in this one. It's only adjacent enemies, so yeah, I'm gonna put you in this one. You're definitely getting move. Alright, Leaper Leader. Um, it's gonna be sketchy. It's definitely gonna be sketchy, but... Give up one 
grid to make this work. Yeah, I guess I don't have much of a choice. We knew it probably wasn't going to end up being a clean run, thanks to the uh, nature of our mechs here, but... Now I'll punch you the other way. I should have punched the other guy. Would have resulted in one more damage being done to something. Uh, not doing much of anything. I don't think we can even get to you. Victoria, you're probably too sluggish to. No, we can actually get there. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, somebody's gonna go have to. It's probably gonna have to be Sidewinder. No. I guess somebody can just take the hit. I actually know we can kill him. But we can't give Victoria the kill, can we? No, we can't. So we do this, then you should be able to finish it off here. And I guess you can poke at your buddy. Not that it's gonna do anything, but... I'm sure they'll have some conversations about that back in their hive. So no hive warrior, which was strange, but... Yeah, sure. I will put you in uh, this guy. Uh, effect hormones. Could be interesting. I might actually be interested in target strike too. It's simple, yes, but it gives us quite a bit of uh, leeway in things. Like it's a turn where we can actually do something far away from where our mechs are. So yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Um, am I gonna get the hormones? So you're definitely going to be the one to get targeted strike, because you're the most likely to be, in a way, in a place where we can't do anything with you. Um, Yeah, this seems like a good thing to be doing right now. Give ourselves a bit of a projectile attack. I think I'm giving you the dash, but I think I can wait. I think instead I'm gonna get movement up. Alright, 
So that's gonna do it for this episode then. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you still enjoying the series. Free, so it's probably coming like an end or something. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.